Question number one. What is the primary reason for the high frequency of earthquakes along the Pacific Ring of Fire? The correct answer is letter D, the convergence of several tectonic plates, including the Pacific Plate and surrounding plates. Question number two. Which tectonic plate boundary is commonly associated with the formation of major mountain belts, such as the Himalayas? The correct answer is letter C convergent boundary, where two continental plates collide. Question number three. Why do earthquake epicenters often align in specific linear patterns around the world? The correct answer is letter D due to the arrangement of tectonic plate boundaries and faults. Question number four. How does the concept of plate tectonics relate to the location of earthquake epicenters around the world? The correct answer is letter C. They are concentrated along tectonic plate boundaries where stress is released. Question number five. Which type of plate boundary is characterized by plates moving away from each other? The correct answer is letter A divergent boundary. Question number six. What is typically formed at divergent boundaries located in the ocean? The correct answer is letter B, mid-ocean ridges. Question number seven. At which type of boundary does one tectonic plate subduct beneath another? The correct answer is letter D, convergent boundary. Question number eight. What geological feature is commonly associated with convergent boundaries where an oceanic plate collides with a continental plate? The correct answer is letter D, volcanic Kark Han Ocean Trench. Question number nine. Which type of boundary is characterized by plates sliding past each other horizontally? The correct answer is letter B, transform boundary. Question number 10. What is the main difference between P waves and S waves? The correct answer is letter B, P waves are compressional, while S waves are shear. Question number 11. What typically happens at convergent boundaries where two continental plates collide? The correct answer is letter C. The plates crumple and form large mountain ranges. Question number 12. What is the process called when one tectonic plate moves under another?
The correct answer is letter C, subduction. Question number 13. What is the process that occurs at mid-ocean ridges where new crust is formed? The correct answer is letter D, seafloor spreading. Question number 14. Which of the following is most likely to occur along a transform boundary? The correct answer is letter earthquakes. Question number 16. Slad pole. A force that helps move tectonic plates occurs because. The correct answer is letter D. Dense oceanic plates sink into the mantle, pulling the rest of the plate with them. Question number 17. The heat from Earth's interior that drives mantle convection comes primarily from. The correct answer is letter C, C radioactive decay of elements. Question number 18. Which scientist is credited with proposing the theory of continental drift, which led to the idea of plate tectonics? The correct answer is letter D. Alfred Wegener. Question number 9. What is the significance of mid-ocean ridges in the theory of plate tectonics? The correct answer is letter B. They show where oceanic plates are diverging. Question number 20. What role do deep-sea trenches play in plate tectonics? The correct answer is letter D. They are formed when one tectonic plate subducts under another.